All right, good morning, everybody. This is Captain Kai, the sea glass guy. We're doing another exciting adventure of sea glass hunting today. Got my ever faithful companion there, LC. She likes to uh, ride in the backpack sometimes. But anyways, we're at uh, another beach today. It's a really good day for sea glass, and the tide brought up a ton of glass last night. Um, and we're about ready to get started. So thank you, everybody, for joining us, and uh, let's do this. So I'm just gonna flip the camera around, and we'll get started. LC, you wanna hop out of your bag? Go ahead, LC, jump. I'll help you. Oh, that zipper got stuck. All right, go ahead. Let's go. Go ahead. Good girl, all right. She loves that backpack. She sleeps in there at night sometimes. All right, cool. So, welcome. Uh, let's get ready to do an awesome sea glass hunt. See the tide pushed up a little bit of trash last night. So Grab that up real quick, toss that in the car, and then we'll get rolling. You can see it's a really nice day out here, pretty flat. Waves aren't too bad. Just really, really nice. Cool, right on. I see people uh, starting to log on the watch, so awesome. Good to see y'all. Good morning. Hope y'all are staying warm, and yeah, we're ready to do this. All right, so first thing, thing I see is this Big, big sea foam piece. Really pretty. Uh, little blue there on top. And I see a really neat multicolored bonfire there. It's got like some stuff in the amber of it. Beautiful. Oh, welcome, welcome. Everybody starting to log on. Awesome. Oh, I see a big old piece right there. You guys see that? That is huge. It's like the size of my hand. That must be uh, at least six inches long piece of TV screen glass, television glass. See, it's a really dark gray. This is normally from the old black and white televisions. And man, that's probably half inch thick too. You can see all the C's on it. That is a really, really big piece there. Crazy, huh? Elsie. Come show everybody how big this is. I guess twice the size of her head. You like it? She doesn't know what she thinks about that one. Cool. Tide's starting to come up now. Starting to splash over. It's gonna bring some more things up for us. Another piece of bonfire there. It's got some little swirls in the middle. Kinda neat. Right on, big waves coming now. What else do we got, Elsie? This right here. Oh, I thought it was brown at first. Just a brown pattern, but look at that. Got us a dark red. Big chunk, heck yeah. Some nice stuff on the beach this morning already. That is really, really cool. That's a nice piece to wake up to, awesome. Elsie, check that one out. A little bit chippy on the sides, but what a thick, really cool piece of dark red there. Stoked on that. I see a piece of honey amber I want to grab before it gets washed away. A big chunk of that too. Cool, all right, we're off to a really good start. All right, thanks everybody just starting to watch. Awesome, awesome. Again, we're here at Curacao today. Uh, we got Elsie ready and waiting to find some really cool stuff this morning. And I'm gonna take you guys down the, the whole long stretch of beach here. I got a full battery, so we can go for a while if you like. And uh, in the meantime, we're gonna pick up all kinds of good stuff. Really digging these sea foams. You see, stuff was brought up on the beach all the way up here last night, so there's a lot to look over. Hoping to find you guys some uh, marbles today, maybe an orange somewhere. Who knows? I haven't found a uh, domino piece on camera yet, so today could be the day for that. But we're going down the uh, stretch where it's pretty good jewelry glass, jewelry grade glass to start. And then after that, uh, it starts to get a little more chippy, but you see a lot more one of a kind stuff. There's a chippy green heart there. Piece of sea foam back there. Uh, 
Well, if you're having trouble seeing the uh, comment feed, just scroll it to the right. If you swipe it to the right, it should go away. Um, then you can swipe back anytime you want to bring it back up. But sometimes it's tough for people to, to see me when half the screen is taken up by comments. So do what you like. Also, if you uh, haven't adjusted your settings to watch in HD or 720p, whatever it's broadcasting at, feel free to do that so you get the best picture possible. one of my favorite beaches uh, LC's too we come here just about every day uh, the problem is they started doing construction on it and they added all these big rocks and they actually this beach was about three times the size it is now but what they did is uh, put down weed mat like really really thick plastic mat they put that all down on the ground uh, to cover up all the sea glass and then they covered that in big rocks and so now a lot of amazing sea glass actually trapped underground uh, so it just left us about half the beach there's a pretty cool piece of uh, cobalt blue flash glass right there on top a white pendant next to it cool cool y'all see anything good over here lots of teals there's some uh, blank coins and a lot of the coins here are made of aluminum at least the cheaper ones like the pennies and so they lose their faces pretty quick in the ocean oh look do you guys see it i see a marble under the rock right there don't normally find too many marbles in this place, so that is sweet let's see let's see what's this right here oh she didn't see it just step right over that's all right we got it cool looks like a cat's eye marble cat's eyes were invented in 1949 in japan but this is an American looking one to me. Look at that, red, white, and blue. Like, yeah, sweet first marble of the day, everybody. That is great. We're doing really well so far here. We've only gone a short stretch. I'm gonna keep this going for a while. Hope to find a little bit of everything for you guys today. We're gonna do a, a good walk. So cool, we got a marble, we got a red, we got a giant piece already. Um, at the end of the show, someone requested that I start showing everything I found during the during the cast, so I'll do that. At the very end, I'll go back over everything we found today. Um, I hadn't done any hunting today before I came, so everything I'll be pulling out of my pocket will be stuff we found live on the cast, which is pretty sweet. Uh, sun's kind of going in and out. We got some clouds, but that's all right. I hope you guys can see all right. I'll do my best to stay out of my shadow for y'all. That is a beautiful aqua teal right there. Wow. Cool, cool. It looks like it's a little bit bonfire too because it's uh, a little bit curvy. Usually this patterned carnival glass is uh, pretty flat. Wow, cool color. Nice turquoise. When the sun comes back out, you might be able to see that color a little better. So cool. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Uh, let me just scroll through the comments real quick. Say hi to everyone. Sausage Beach. Yeah, what you guys are seeing on the ground here, this is actually coral, not rocks. Uh, old dead coral. It's illegal to take, so leave that there. Hello, Pam, Emily, Lizzie, Michelle. Good to see all y'all. Uh, hey, Marisa, Monique. Hey, Tammy. Good to see you on there. And Sherry, hello. Sherry, I actually took uh, on a tour of Curacao last year, if anybody wants to ask her about that. Right on. I know a lot of you guys are in really cold places right now. Hey, Kathy, Nicole. and Adrian. Cool, cool. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're staying warm out there. Uh, big shout out to my newest follower, Cecilia. She's 13 years old and lives in uh, Ohio, and I think she wants to be a sea glasser too when she grows up. That's pretty cool. Hello, Cecilia. So right on. Let's get back to sea glass hunting. We've been having some really good luck and see what else we can find here. Uh, this is your first time watching one of our videos. Uh, you should know before you get angry, we do not pick up everything. We only pick up the, the really rare stuff, what can fit in our pocket for the day. I don't like to take it all.
best to leave some for other folks. And then uh, also me and LC, we do live on a boat, so we can only carry so much. But my plan is to sail a lot of the sea glass back to America here in the next few months to uh, have some live sales and then I can sell a lot of it to you guys. But I do have a lot on the shop of stuff that I've already brought home. And big shout out to my mom for helping me run the Facebook shop if anybody's wants to help support our journey as we sail around the world looking for sea glass. Uh, that's a really good way to do it. Sell all kinds of good sea glass on there. All of it's from uh, Curacao for the most part, but I've also been to Aruba sea glass hunting and I've also been to uh, Puerto Rico as well. Oh, that's a nice one. Some really good teals here. But that's a heart-shaped one right there, like a kind of a greenish heart shape. So let's dig up this pile just a little bit while we got some good sunlight. That way all the colors kind of reflect at us really well. Now normally I don't wear sunglasses, but I just got a new pair of polarized glasses and I thought they might help me if I do some uh, sea glass poaching through the water, or sniping as some people call it, which is kind of where you, you hang out in the water where the waves are at. And then in between waves when they recede, you reach in and try to grab whatever cool thing you see. Uh, so we're going to try to do some of that. I got the polarized glasses on. It should help me see through the water a little bit. But wow, there's just a ton of really good glass today. Uh, in the last few days, all the glass on the beach kind of switched from one side to the other and then back. And in doing so, it really mixed it up really good. Sometimes marbles like to hang out together, so that's why I just wanted to dig up this spot real quick. Things of particular size tend to gather in the same place. You guys can see now that the sun's out, there's just a ton of really good glass here. Just really so much. Um, I've had a lot of people tell me that they go to Seaham, which is like the OG sea glass place. Um, but so many people go there and they've been going there for so long, there's hardly any glass left. A lot of what you guys see when you see the people selling on the sea glass page of a different piece every day from Seaham, they picked that stuff up decades ago. They were smart, gathered thousands and thousands and thousands of peaches when there was a lot. And then uh, now they sell it. They've been selling it for 20, 30, 40 years, but all that glass isn't there anymore. It's, it's tough to even to find a few pieces these days at Seaham. This one's kind of cool. I don't know if you can tell, it's opalescent. So it's got kind of like a rainbow sheen to it. Kind of changes colors a little bit. Really well worn, I like that one. So yeah, um, I've actually talked to some people last night who said they're thinking about changing plans from going to Seaham to come to Curacao because it appears that there's so much more sea glass here. So that's really cool. Um, there's not as many multi-colors here for sure. That's one thing that Seaham did definitely have a lot of. Uh, but what we do have here in Curacao is jewelry grade uh, by the load. I mean, there is tons of it. As you can see, most of this glass is really, really, really well worn. Cool. All right, so let's keep moving up the beach some. See what else we can find on the surface. I don't wanna make y'all watch me dig all day. So cool, we're gonna work down the beach. Let's grab old Elsie. Come on. You can see why our page is called Sun's Out, Tongue's Out. Elsie's always got hers out. All right, what we got here on top? Anything good? You gotta watch out, there's a little danger zone. You get splashed pretty easy. It just hops right over the rocks. Which is kind of funny, because most of the sea glass actually gets splashed over these rocks. So a lot of times you'll get pieces thrown at you in that splash. I've had a marble hit me before. All right, so we're gonna dig up this little pile real quick. Whoop. Those splashes are quick. Some nice honey amber on top. Uh, not seeing any reds or anything. So we can see there's some sea glass here. This used to actually all be a sea glass beach where these rocks are. Um, but because they put the weed mat down and put the rocks on top, it kind of, you know, just hid all the sea glass forever. It's, it's stuck under there now. Um, but sometimes some good stuff does accrue around these rocks. So we're gonna get down here and check it out before we get splashed. All right. But all the stuff I'm seeing on the surface here is like way too small. It's kind of sand sized. 
There's LC there. She's a pretty good rock climber. All right, she stays on top of the rocks, doesn't come down into the waves. Go give her a hand real quick. Come on, LC. I got you. Good girl. She's so brave, huh? Probably one of the luckiest dogs you'll ever meet. LC's 11 years old. Woo! Big wave, that one got me. All right. Let's see if we can see anything under here. Tide might be a little high right now to find any sea glass in the water. You can see there's some under here. So maybe on the way back, we'll check out in here. But I think right now the waves are just too big. So that's right, we'll keep walking down the beach to where uh, some more really good sea glass spots are. LC, you ready? Good girl. She's a good rock climber. All right. So again, we are here in Curacao today. I'm just walking towards another really nice sea glass beach. Uh, this all used to be sea glass, but they put down the weed mat and the rocks on top of it, and now it's all hidden. But uh, maybe a generation, hundreds of years from now, we'll turn those rocks over and find all that old sea glass that no longer exists. Uh, you see, pretty nice day out on the ocean. Relatively flat. The wind's not too bad today, so I hope you guys can hear me better than normal. Might have to do more podcasts or live feeds in the morning because uh, it's less windy. Here's little Elsie. She likes taking the sidewalk. All right, so we're coming up on the next little beach and then we should start finding some really good stuff again. Thanks again, everybody, for watching us. Uh, really, really appreciate all of your support. We couldn't, uh, we couldn't go around the world and collecting sea glass if it wasn't for all y'all's support. Um, so thank y'all so much uh, for everything and for helping us getting our boat back together. As most of you guys know, uh, we got struck by lightning about a year ago and have been making repairs, so all those sea glass sales are going to that. And uh, we're almost ready to set sail again, hopefully in the next couple of months. And then uh, we're going to head probably up towards Puerto Rico or U.S. Virgin Islands, somewhere where I can ship from. And that way I can send all the sea glass back to you, maybe host a couple live sales um, on Facebook there. So that'll be fun. We're starting to get towards some more sea glass here. Again, really wavy, but I see a really beautiful... Uh, Super spectacular green piece here. It looks like a UV. You can tell by the kind of shade of green it is. A lot of times, woo, that was a big wave. I'm gonna need to drop my phone off. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen on live video. I'm so all right so back at it uh hopefully y'all can see all right with the water's off the lens now good morning everybody you're starting to watch heck yeah cool all right so we should be coming up on some good stuff here shortly you can see it was a little more worn at the last beach we were at um that's because there's less of a reef do you see here in front you can see how the reef is uh, kind of up closer to shore. That protects the beach from getting pounded by waves all the time. And so that means it takes longer for sea glass. Even though it's only a block away from the other sea glass, it's been in the ocean for the exact same amount of time. It takes a lot longer to get worn because it's not getting beaten down into the sand every day. But uh, because of that, we find some more rarer stuff here because it hasn't been uh, completely rubbed down like a lot of things like the ceramic faces charlotte's heads those don't last as long in the ocean i don't think um so we find a lot more of those kind of things here figurines or just those really neat one of a kinds um also tend to find the a lot of marbles around here bottle bottoms too and i'm thinking i'm gonna take my sunglasses off might make it a little harder for me to see the marbles right now 
And we're just using our pockets today. I fill my pockets up. If the pocket gets full, I just dump it in my backpack. But uh, we'll go over everything at the end of the, the feed, and I'll show you what we found today. There's a cool piece of pottery right there. It's got a little plane on it. It says Avion. The pottery is kind of fun because you can do a little, you know, mystery search, try to figure out what it is. You can do a Google image search and see if you can find out where these old uh, emblems came from. It's kind of fun. And decent looking aqua there. Not as well worn as uh, the other beach, like I was saying, but still all right. And again, we're really looking for those reds and oranges, the stoppers, uh, marbles, things like that. And you can see there's a, a ton of glass to look at. And then there's so many colors. We did an experiment the other day to see how many colors I could pick up in less than a minute. And I think we got over a dozen or so. Oh, it's, it's really nice here. Good spot for sea glassing for sure. Here's a little bottle mouth. I like to use the little ones as marble holders. You know, they sit perfect and then the marble sits in there on top really nice. Um, now, one thing you guys are going to see today is me throwing back stuff. Some people keep every piece of glass they find on the beach, and that's all cool. Everybody should pick up whatever they like. Um, but unless it's been worn by the ocean and it's got all those chippy sides gone and it's frosted, it's not really sea glass. It's kind of, you know, just glass or trash even. Um, so what I collect is those jewels from the sea that are amazing, that are, you know, really well worn, that are actually taken trash, that is recycled by the ocean and made into a, a wonderful jewel. But uh, this is not that. So I throw that back. Next generation gets to have it. If we pick it all up now, there's nothing for anybody else later. So take the stuff that's really good, guys, and leave the rest. Uh, for example, I see this marble here. Heck yeah, that is awesome. Now, from the looks of it, I can't tell right now whether it's worn enough or not, but when it dries off, if it's frosty, then it's a keeper. But if it still has that glaze around it, I mean, it hasn't been rolling around in the ocean long enough. Or if it has, it just hasn't been rough enough to affect it in the right way to make it a jewel. So I throw those back too. Um, yeah, it's a marble, but it's just a marble. A sea marble is a whole different thing. So I'm looking for those sea marbles that are really, really frosty. So we're gonna let that one dry out and see what happens to it at the end of the feed. But if it's not frosty, it's going back. I see a really cool piece here. Uh, oh, do you guys know what this was? Now it's only a piece of it. This is probably originally about the size of my hand almost. This is called a flower frog. And they hang out on the top of a vase and you put your stems of your flowers through all the holes and it separates them perfectly. I've only ever found one other one before and it was whole, but uh, that one's really cool. Oh shoot, almost lost that marble. So right on, put those in my pockets for sure. LC, doing good? Doing good. All right, so let's keep it moving. Found some really good stuff there. That's two marbles this morning. Doing really well with those, that's awesome. We've only walked uh, you know, a couple blocks down the beach or so. Come on. All right, so we're going underneath some trees here. Uh, I tend to get bit up by spiders pretty bad. They like my face. After the last feed where I was going under these trees, I had a swollen eye for like two days. <laughs> but super worth it. A couple little spider bites. You can see some of these uh, Coca-Cola bottle pieces still on the rocks there. Um, a lot of these are from the 1925 edition. They're called Christmas bottles because they, I think it was uh, December 25th, what was it, like 1923 maybe, that they were patented. So they're called Christmas Coca-Cola bottles. You can look at some of the antique ones maybe you have. They might say uh, December 25th on them. All right, cool. You can see there's a lot of bottle lips and bottle mouths here. Those are the stronger parts of the... Uh, sea glass bottles so they tend to last the longest stick around the longest same thing with the kick ups which is the bottom of the wine bottles Ooh, cool look at that looks like a like kind of a native american dude on the back of this plate the first letters are sh it's still pretty sharp though so gotta go back in all right so we're looking all the way up and down the high and low tide line 
seeing if there's anything underneath these roots that gets caught. I see another little coin right there. One penny from the Netherlands. And these things are really pretty too, the sea urchin skeletons. You just find thousands of these things here. Kind of fun to put on trees. One time there was a, like a little dead bush, so I covered it in like a thousand of them on the end of every branch. It looked really, really pretty. All right, sun's back out over here. We're through the trees. Hopefully you didn't get bit by too many spiders. Definitely got one on the arm though. It's another one of these urchins. Oh, cool, look at this. Uh, looks like this may be in a, been a piece of a bird of some sort. Did you guys see that? It's kind of got the shape of a bird and it's got a wing in there. That's pretty neat. Not too chippy, I'll keep it. Oh, look right there. Is that a chandelier beard? Oh no, it's a Mancala piece. Right on. But guys, do you guys see how um, it's still got that glaze on it? Normally I'd be really stoked to find a piece like this, but it's not sea glass yet. It's just a piece of glass. And you could buy this stuff at, you know, the store. Looking exactly the same. So... I'm a sea glass collector, not a glass collector, so this baby's gotta go back. Um, hopefully for somebody here 20, 30 years from now, I'll find it and it'll be way better for them. So there we go, that one's going back. Please don't be offended, anyone. LC, how you doing? Anything good? Don't worry, we're gonna find lots of really, really good stuff so we can afford to throw some things back for other people. And uh, this whole bleach was actually a landfill for a long, long time. It stopped being a landfill in the 50s. Um, and that's when they paved over it and put houses on top. So there is a ton of trash here for a pretty good stretch. LC and I found all these marbles, I mean, not these marbles, all these beaches when we first got to uh, Curacao over a year ago. And it took us quite a while. That one's still sharp. It took us quite a while to find. We actually used our little boat. We have an inflatable boat that still worked wasn't impaired by the lightning and we used that to uh, go up and down the entire coastline and find every single sea glass beach most of them completely unheard of um, sea glassing isn't really a thing here people don't do it too often i've actually never seen a local sea glass hunting here so always have it to ourselves unless we bring folks with us which is kind of great We got some big walls of stuff here. It's a little bit smaller. Um, we'll try to wait for the ridge of where the ocean's flapped up a bunch of stuff that's more a little bit bigger size. That's where we're more likely to find the marbles and stuff like that. It's this right here, some kind of electrical component. All right, thanks again, everybody watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys want to do me a favor now and spread the word Please, please feel free to share this to your favorite uh, Sea Glass group page right now, and that way everybody on that group knows about it, and they can watch with us as well. I really appreciate that. Um, can't tell you how much. And it's weird. Facebook won't tell me who shares my posts. If they had, I'd happily reach out and thank every single one of you personally, but it just says it's been shared so many times, but never tells me who did it. So whoever you all are out there, uh, I, I do appreciate you all. Thank you very, very much. Right, we're going under some more trees through a couple more spider webs. Starting to dry off after that big wave I took earlier. I hope the sound and uh, the viewing on this is all right. I didn't get messed up or nothing. Really keeping a sharp eye for anything cool. Thought this was an orange piece, but it's just a clear piece with some rust on it. I'll throw that back in. Right. Sometimes you can see things down in the water as well. So keep my eye out. There's a spider hanging from the brim of my hat right now on a web. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool. This... Huh, I wonder what that is. Oh, wow. Check that out. That's cool. So I see a hand on either side. Can you guys see the hand on that side and the hand on this one? This is like a... I think it was a guy who was playing the accordion or something, right? It looks like a little accordion. 
so strange. You never know what you're gonna find. That's really cool. Two hands and an accordion. It's pretty neat. <laughs> I have certainly never found an accordion before. See a little piece of turquoise down there. And not really sea glass condition, so throwing it back. A little piece of porcelain or pottery with some flowers on it. Ooh, a big cornflower blue there. That's a really good size cornflower. Looks like it had some words on it there. Right on. And now we're gonna check up top, check up high too, make sure nothing thrown up this way. This is great, there's definitely a lot of new sea glass on the top from the last time I came, you know, probably last week or so. Patterned honey amber there. It's a nice one. Right on, right on. And if anybody wants to read more about LC and I that hasn't already, our website is kypirate.com. That's K Y pirate.com. And that like, kind of gives a biography about LC and I and our adventures around the world and all that stuff. And then as we're sailing, um, I actually have a tracker on there and you can watch where we are real time as we're sailing across the oceans and stuff and send us messages via satellite uh, while we're out which is kind of cool it's really a good time in the world to be sailing all the new technology and stuff makes it a little bit easier and safer than ever before and uh being able to reach out to folks like you and you know go treasure hunting every day and then get my treasure to you guys that that affords us the opportunity to sail around the world because that's how we make our money. So thank you all so much. And I hope to keep this going. We're going to as many countries around the world as we can. We're finding as many beaches as you have never, ever, ever heard of as we can. And we're going to share them all with you as we go. And then also, folks, if you come out to anywhere I'm at where I happen to be sailing and sea glass hunting, always happy to take people on tours uh, to look for glass. Nice piece of pottery there, with some leaves on it or something. Cool, cool. I know I'm walking past a lot of good stuff. It's just hard to see it all. Got to keep an eye out for LC, keep the camera up. Try not to step on anything sharp and then hunt for sea glass and talk at the same time. I might not be as good of a sea glass hunter when I'm doing this as when I'm just sea glass hunting, but I think we're doing all right today. We got a couple marbles. We started off with a really big gray piece, which was cool. Uh, one of the bigger pieces I've found. And we found a uh, big red too. It was kind of nice. Here's another piece of TV screen glass, but you can see it's still a little too chippy. So we'll throw that one back too. Let's see if we can skip it. Eh, ah, not so well. Some uh, bonfire cobalt there. Cool, cool. Just neat looking patterned white piece there. Pockets are starting to fill up. Ooh, I see a beautiful uh, pink right here. A little bonfire touch to it. Looks like it was melted. That's nice. LC, what you looking at, huh? You see something good? I don't see nothing. All right. <laughs> wow, lots of people watching. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, thanks everybody who ordered uh, treasure boxes this week. That was really cool of you. My mom started putting together surprise boxes for like a hundred bucks uh, to send to folks. And a lot of you ordered them. And we really, really appreciate that. That was a super good deal for everyone too. Lots of really neat stuff in there. You get like a marble and like every different color, pirate glass. I think you get a baby Yoda piece and every box is completely different. So she makes sure everybody gets a lot of stuff to make it totally worth it. This little bottle bottom has uh, 
the number 100 on it. All right, looking under some trees again. Move some of these branches out of the way. All right, let's see, anything under there? Not seeing any marbles or anything. So we're gonna walk around this bunch of trees just to save the spider bites. Ooh, look right there. See a little red something. A little piece of red milk glass. Might have been a bead or something. And when you walk the opposite way down the beach, you can see all the stuff you missed that were on the other side of the rocks. All right, Elsie, let's walk through the trees and then we'll keep going. So yeah, again, everybody who's worried about us not picking up everything, A, that would take lifetimes. There's thousands and thousands of tons of sea glass here. Uh, but also, we do live on a boat, it, we will sink. Uh, so it gotta be choosy. Gotta be very choosy. Ooh, you can see some pieces of a dead bird back here. But I don't see any marbles or reds or anything like that. So let's duck under this tree here. You guys ever see uh, a National Geographic and stuff? Half naked guys with a stick and they're walking through the woods like this and you're like, what are they doing? Some kind of chant? Are they trying to find water with a stick? Why is that guy doing that? Is he he's doing some kind of hocus pocus? No, y'all, man. He's getting rid of those spider webs before they get in his face. It just makes it look cool. <laughs> All right, looking on this little beach here. I'm not seeing anything spectacular. So we'll go around again. Elsie found somebody's underwear. All kinds of trash back here. We do pick up trash a lot of times, but because this is a landfill, this is one of the places, no matter how much you pick up, you can't tell the difference. So when we do pick up trash, we usually bring a bag and do a whole bag once a week at one of our favorite beaches. And we tend to pick the ones that, uh, where you can make the most effect. You know, you can really tell that you did something. Makes us feel better about it. <laughs> But there's so much trash, you can never pick all this up. All right. Again, we're underneath these trees here, seeing what's washed up. I mean, you can tell it probably, definitely nobody else comes under here. Oh, wow, look at that big old pattern pink there. There's a big cobalt, too. These are the pieces you find, and you're like, man, I wish those were sea glass. But, guys, this isn't sea glass. This is just glass on the beach. Two big differences. Uh, until it becomes washed and worn and frosted, it's just trash. So we throw that back, and maybe somebody's grandkid will find it in 50 years or so. Who knows? Elsie doing all right? She makes it so easy going under these trees, but not as easy for me. So we're looking around here. See some more of those pink ones, but they're just not done yet. Not cooked enough. So we throw them back in the oven. Looking around here. Um, now the best section of this beach that we're walking on today is the very end part. So if you're not seeing a ton of stuff right now, you definitely will see more when we get to the end of the beach. Just looking out over here, seeing what we can see. There's a couple of these guys. Now one thing you can use them for is because with these big rocks, it's hard to tell where the tide came up to. So if you you set them where you think the tide was last. Next time you come by, if they've fallen over, if they're not there anymore, you know, hey, tide came up higher than that. All right, so we're getting back to a little more sunshine. Hope you guys can see something good. Oh man, another spider on my head. All right, I'm gonna look into these rocks here. Sometimes stuff likes to gather in between them. The sun's coming out, you can see the ocean's getting a little prettier. Got the really beautiful blue. Uh, a lot of you have had the Curacao drink, it's like a blue liqueur, bright, bright blue. Um, that is inspired by the color of the ocean here. Wow, look at that bonfire. That's a neat one. It's a white and green and brown all mixed together. A lot of bonfire at these beaches. So we're gonna look at the high tide line, see if we see anything, some Coca-Cola bottle. A 
What else? And then maybe under this tree. But well, not too much under there either. So all right, we're gonna keep going around. There's some more seaglass beach just around the corner. We'll follow Elsie. Go ahead, girl. All right on. So Elsie and I have been hanging out together for about 11 years now. Uh, she lived in Hawaii with me for most of that time. Uh, that's where I went to school. That's where I was stationed in the army at. Um, that's where I bought some land when I got out of the army and I built a farm. I sold that farm to get my boat. I'll have to post uh, a video of my farm you guys can see. I actually, by luck, and by a little bit of skill, I managed to acquire the largest privately owned cave in Hawaii. Lava tube. Oh, cool. Ow. But yeah, I sold it all to get a boat. Okay, A, just stepped on this thorn and pulled it out of my foot. And B, look at this horse. It's a horse, of course. He's got a coral in his butt. <laughs> cool. That's the first, uh, like, I found a head once of a porcelain pigarine, but right on. never know what you're gonna find. We can give him an accordion. Right on, cool. So we got a horse. Finding lots of good stuff today. And then just looking down here to see if anything else. So, anyways, yeah, I had a cave about three miles long I put an airplane in it and uh, we used to have parties and I had a farm with goats and turkeys and peacocks um, pigs rabbits chickens ducks Elsie you name it we had it and uh, had that farm for a few years while I went to university I bought it as raw land and actually built an entire farm I built a couple of houses built fencing built roads um, and then I, I sold it all to the biggest tourism company in Hawaii so that I could afford to buy a boat and uh, sail around the world So that's what we're doing now, but that was a fun few years Doing that I'll post a video so you guys could check out the cave sometime I think I still have the old real estate video or something There's a bottle of old Moraline Can't remember what that medicine was for you look that up, but that's a cool little bottle, huh? I wish I had more room on my boat to collect bottles, but I don't, unfortunately, so. I just set them up on the high tide line for somebody else to find. Maybe somebody else collects them, so there's one there. There's another. This one's kind of like a snow globe, huh? Not quite. All right. Cool. So we're getting to uh, kind of a sharp part of the beach. This is where I do find more one-of-a-kind stuff. Like I said, that horse piece we just found was bad ass. But here's a nice piece of bonfire. Uh, one thing you're gonna see here shortly is we're coming across a lot of really cool colors, but they're going to be kind of sharp. Uh, so I will be throwing those back. You can see there's just a lot of really cool colors and pieces. I do uh, sometimes find marbles here. Not too many cat size. Usually like they're the swirly, older glass and ceramic marbles. So I'm hoping to find one of those for you guys here today. We got Elsie helping us look. So Elsie and I, we bought our boat up in uh, Maine, Portland, Maine, and we sailed. There's another little bottle. We sailed uh, down to Annapolis, seeing my folks. They live in Virginia there. And then we sailed to Florida. Uh, that's where we got struck by lightning. We stayed there for a while doing repairs. And then we sailed to uh, Aruba. And we lost our prop shaft on the way there. We almost sank. But managed to save the boat and uh, got it to Aruba. They didn't have anywhere to haul us out, so we ended up having to go to Curacao. And we hauled out there, and we've been hauled out in Curacao, our boat out of the water for over a year. Just put it back in the water. They've been doing the repairs. And uh, again, we're hoping to get back on the water. Oh, look at that. Wow, just sitting pretty waiting for me. There's a red, huh? It's got some really nice pattern to it. And it might be just warm enough to keep it. I can't tell you, I gotta let it dry off. But there's no sharp edges to it. So that might be a keeper. It kind of looks like a seashell, huh? Wow. 
nice. It's uh, almost two inches long. That is really cool. That's our second big patterned red of the day. I'll see. Come on now. There she is. All right. Find some good stuff. Kind of a wider expanse to look at here, the high tide camp a little more. And again, the reason that the sea glass at the beginning and the ends here of the beaches are gonna be better, and not so much this whole stretch that we've been on for a minute um, where it's all sharp, is because of this reef. You can see in front of the beach for this stretch, this reef protects it a lot. Uh, and that keeps the sand from rolling around the sea glass as much. And even though it's been in the ocean just as long as the stuff at the beginning, it's not nearly as warm. And that's just because it hasn't gotten rolled around as much. It's not as rough right here. It's got that protection of the reef. Um, that's all right. Still worth checking out. Obviously, we're finding some good things. this is that glass oh wow it's like a glass tube a little chippy on the ends uh, I don't find too many glass tubes I'll throw that baby back too All right. Elsie. come on Elsie loves to smell everything Looking in between these rocks, hoping to find a marble or something good. They tend to hang out in between them. Just looking around up here. Those really cool colors. Oranges and reds, maybe some carnival glass. Oh, there's a nice pink bottle bottom there, but it's not sea glass. It's just, just glass. So we're gonna throw that back in. What else we got? You just see how much there is, huh? Lots of old big bottles. That's glass. That's a thick piece of glass right there. So when they uh, did this landfill, what they would do, and they do this in a lot of countries, is they burn the glass uh, before they kind of pack it down and pave over it. And the reason to do that is get all the organic materials and stuff out because they're gonna settle and decompose at a different rate and that's gonna make pitting wherever you paved. So what they do is they burn it all and then they smash it all down. Whoa, bonfire UV. Sweet. That's a cool piece. Pretty well worn. We'll keep that one. Uh, so anyway, so they smash it all down um, really good. And the reason they burn it next to the beach is so that all the smoke will go offshore. You don't want to burn something and then it go all onto the people of the country. Um, so like here, Aruba, Bonaire, basically a lot of the island countries, they burn all their trash before they put it next to the ocean and smash it down. Um, so these beaches actually used to go out a little further, but because of you know erosion from the ocean, it's kind of come up a little bit and it's starting to erode where they paved down all that glass. So new glass is still being exposed all the time too. That's just been trapped underneath for a long, long time. Well, my pocket is really full. I only got one good pocket today. The other one's got a hole in it, so. Pants are getting pulled down on one side pretty good. <laughs> no, that's a pretty little bottle there. I'll keep that one. It's kind of got a rainbow sheen to it. They do that with a lot of the carnival glass, where it's got kind of that rainbow sheen on the outside. And the way they did that, actually, is arsenic gas. I don't know if they knew it was bad back then or not, but... uh. You can plate it in arsenic gas when you're done with it, and that gives it that rainbow oily kind of sheen. All right, on. lots of bonfire glass. Uh, lots of neat colors here. But it's, a lot of it is really, really sharp, so we're not picking that stuff up. We just want the well-worn stuff. The true sea glass, right? Some neat seashells here amongst all the coral and sea glass. I tend to leave those ones uh, for the hermit crabs. They need to have some homes to choose from. A lot of these HBM emblems. 
more little bottles there. I know it looks sharp, but you can still walk on her. It's not so bad. And don't worry about Elsie. She's got the strongest paws anyone you ever met. Believe it or not, she has run two marathons with me, fully all 26 miles without stopping, uh, barefooted. She's a strong, strong dog and my best friend. So no worries, we take really good care of her. She's uh, one lucky son of a gun, I'll tell you. I'm really surprised we haven't found any uh, swirly marbles yet. Hoping we will, you can see we've been walking, what, maybe half, quarter mile? I haven't seen another person. We've got it all to ourselves. So there's nobody ahead of us stealing them. <laughs> there's nobody else looking for marbles at all here. So hoping we'll find one. We did find two at the beginning. And again, at the very end of the show, I'll show you guys everything that we found today. Ooh. Look at that. It's a piece of turquoise pattern glass, also known as carnival glass. See, it's kind of got that sheen to it. But now, if you look around the edges, you can see it's still sharp. It's not worn enough. If this had been sea glass, this piece would be worth a lot of money. That'd be a really, really nice piece. But this is not sea glass. This is just glass on the beach. Two very distinct differences. Here's another example. Oh, stepped on something sharp. Ouch. All right. Uh, here's another example. That's a purple piece, right? Again, rare color. Pretty sweet piece if it's sea glass but that's not sea glass it's still got that arsenic sheen on it this is uh this is just trash glass guys so we're gonna throw it back um some people take stuff home and put it in a tumbler that's not sea glass either not by a long shot so i don't do that i look i'm not a fan of people that do especially if they sell it oh but look at that that is a stopper Heck yeah. Cool. It's got a good chip out of the side and the bottom, but it's still worthy of uh, keeping. That's a good stopper. Cool. Right in front of her eyes. All right, on. So we got a stopper now. We got some marbles. We got some red pieces. There's a pink. It's too sharp, though. Throwing that back. But wow, that is cool. All right. Let's keep going. We'll find some other good stuff. I see a baby Yoda piece here. It's not a uh, sea glass yet, but I'll still pick it up to show you guys what a baby Yoda is. That's the uh, Dura glass emblem. And if you watch the show The Mandalorian, you'll see that little face there. Kind of looks just like it. has got little eyes and a smile. Some of the emblems look a little more like them than this one, but uh, pretty cool. That was uh, Dura glass made a lot of the bottles for most of America for a long, long time. So. Many, many bottles you see uh, were contracted by Duraglass, and you'll see that emblem on the bottom. Here's another piece of opalescent. Nice sheen on that one. And again, this one's too chippy. Even though opalescent's pretty rare, we gotta whoop, throw it back. All right. What else we got, Elsie? Looking down here in the low tide line. Don't see much. All right, let me go around this tree. Here, oh, I try not to fall over. All right, I'm surprised I haven't busted my butt more on live video. Looks like somebody was picking something up. Put it all right there. All right, so we're almost to the end here um, where I will show you guys everything we found today, but also it's a really good section right at the end for finding stuff. So fingers crossed we find some more cool things. Um, so far, what was everybody's favorite? I really like that horse we found. Oh, there's a red. There's a nicely well-worn whip. Elsie, come here, get out of the road. Look at that, triangle. It's got the brake light pattern to it. I bet that uh, shines in a UV light too, on the top at least. That red, check that out. Got a nice red there. So not everything on this beach is, you know, too chippy. You do find some good stuff, just you get teased a lot here uh, by what you think is going to be a good piece and it turns out just being glass and not sea glass. All right. Well, again, we're almost to the uh, one of the better sections of this whole thing. 
hoping to find some stuff and then we'll maybe end it there after I show you everything we found today. Uh, like the marbles and the big reds. I'll see. Let's go. Elsie, come on. She saw another dog got distracted. All right, now there's not as much reef here, so this is gonna be getting a little mel well, a little more well worn than it was at the other spots. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate everybody watching and sharing the, the post and everything. It's really great, y'all. Uh, like I said, the Facebook doesn't tell me who shares my post, or else I'd reach out and thank you personally. But everyone that does, it puts us on the groups for me so that we could get the word out. I really appreciate y'all a ton. All right. And again, if anybody ever comes here and wants to go on a sea glass tour, or if you happen to be anywhere, uh, my sailboat is as I'm sailing around the world looking for sea glass beaches. Let us know. Always happy to take folks out with us. Have a good time. And we've taken a few dozen folks out before. A lot of them have posted in my reviews, so you can read about it there. Uh, but when I take folks, they've never seen so much sea glass in their life. In fact, a lot of times it's really hard to get them away from the car because I park right next to the beach. And as soon as they get out of their door, they see sea glass and think, oh my gosh, this is the most I've ever seen in my life. And I'm like, hey, wait, just come 20 more feet to the beach. I'm going to show you way, way more than that. And some people I can't get to leave next to the car. <laughs> so they go the whole trip without actually seeing how great it really is. But they just think it's the best they've ever seen in their life. So they can't pull themselves away. I see a stopper. Right on. Right there on the top. Got a little bit of bend to it. Maybe it was melted. Not super well worn, but it still has a little bit of a frost to it. And it's not chippy at all. No sharp ledges to it or edges. So sweet. We found another stopper. That's the second one we found today in a short period of time. Rad. Neato, huh? Cool, what else we got? What else we got? Uh, so a lot of bottle mouths, as you can see here. These bigger bottle mouths, they're hard to hold marbles. Usually I use bottle mouths as marble holders. Um, but the bigger ones, they fall right through unless you got a shooter. So if you find really good ones of the bigger ones, use those to keep your shooters in. But I've only ever found like, I think five or six shooter marbles before. Let's see what you got, anything good over there? Let's see, a pattern pink, but it's not ready yet. Oh, I see a piece of a marble. You guys see it? It's a half one, it's a cabochon shape. It probably got broken at some point, but awesome, another marble. Not a full one, but hey, that counts. See how it's got this flat back to it? Sweet. Elsie, good job. She just loves being at the beach. All right, so I think that's our third marble this morning. Super cool. Like I was saying before, where you find marbles, you might find more. So I always dig up the spot where, uh, where one was sitting. And you can see the ocean's kind of... Uh, moving this stuff around a lot right now so you never know could be some more in this deck sometimes if it's a little sharp you just grab a piece of coral and you use that too it makes it even a better workout you have to hold on to something heavy it's a pretty little piece of pink right there Ooh, a little red flash glass piece there as well. Right on. Man, I'm really running out of rooms in my pocket here. As you can see, I just got a little zipper. I got to keep closed or it's all going to fall out. All right, we'll have to stop here in a second and empty those out and show you everything that we found today. Just going to do a little bit more digging and then we'll, uh, we'll do that. See a heart shape there, but a little too chippy. Can we look back towards the water too, see if anything is in here. It's easy to see reds through the water, blues, turquoises. There's a piece of bonfire. Kind of nice. So there's that 
another piece of bonfire. That one's kind of cool. Oh, it's like white, green, multicolor. You find a lot of bonfire like this. Because they burned everything together, you're often gonna see pieces of trash or metal or dirt in between the layers of the bonfire glass where it melted onto itself. Kind of cool. Let's look in here. Keep walking down the beach a little bit. What you want, Elsie? Oh, you want to go in the water, huh? Well, you need a stick. Elsie, you'll only go in if somebody throws a stick. Well, let's see if we can find a stick, Elsie. Just looking on the surface here. That's a big piece. I'm not quite ready yet, but look at that cool shape. That's some really old glass. You can see all the bubbles in it, huh? But uh, it's not sea glass. It's not frosted yet. Throwing that back in. All right, let's pull back to the side here. Oh, dang. Another stopper. Right on. Look at that, Elsie. Heck yeah. Cool. Dang, we're killing it with stoppers right now. This is our third one. This is definitely the frostiest, I would say. The most well-worn. I don't know if I've ever found one with that shape before. It's got like three lined edge around it. Kind of a diamond tip. So sweet. Super stoked on this. Uh, at the end of the cast, I'll go over and I'll answer everybody's questions through their comments too. So feel free to post questions. I'll try to get to everybody. If you want to know more about uh, what we're doing or adventures, the glass here. Uh, a lot of people are asking if, if they could come here, if it was relatively safe. And it is pretty safe, but somebody messaged me yesterday asking if they should come by themselves. She was a single woman. And I don't know that the... I don't know if I'd come here by myself if I was a single lady. The men here could be kind of, uh, you know, they cat call a lot and they're, they, they pretty much holler at all the ladies all the time that are by themselves. So I don't know, I'd probably travel with somebody if I can. Uh, if you do want to travel here and you don't have buddies, you can always ask on the sea glass group. I see people always trying to put together uh, groups to go places. And I'm sure there's a ton of people right now who would love to come here. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I come on myself. Definitely more better to have a family or friends with you. But and it's not like it's a super dangerous country. So you'd probably be okay. It's always better to travel with a buddy, I think. So here's some neat little pieces we just found on top. Let's just kick back some more. Right on. Ooh, what's that? Well, wow, it's like a green opalescent kind of color. But it's not, not frosted enough, not sea glass yet either. So throw that baby back. Uh, I thought I saw a piece of a bead. Yeah, there it is. We haven't found any beads yet today, but here's a piece of one. Oh, you know what? In fact, it's an old button. See where the holes were on the back? And this would have been the front of the button, but it's got a little chip in it. See, it had a little design to it. Neato. Uh, here's an old ceramic insulator. Well, I think we've done enough sea glass hunting that I could show you guys everything we found today real quick. And then I promised Elsie I'd play some fetch with her. Let me find a stick real quick. Elsie, you see any sticks? Oh, let's find Elsie. Here we go. Break that board in half. You ready, Elsie? Give me a spin. Can I get a rollover? Can I get a rollover? Rollover. Oh, nice roller. Ready, set, jump over my leg. Jump over my leg. Oh, good jump. 
Ready, go. All right, how lucky is she, huh? Gets to do this all day, every day. Cool, so let me find a good spot. I'll drop my backpack down and uh, we can go over all the cool stuff we just found. And thank you all, everybody, especially anybody who stuck around the whole podcast. This is great of y'all. All right, so I think up here we won't get swept away by the ocean. So, let's do it. Oh, wait, I see a blue real quick. That one's not bad. You never know, it's just going to wash up right in front of you, you know? Cool. All right, so here's my backpack. And uh, pop a squat. Elsie, come here. Come here. All right, have a seat. Stay. Good girl. All right, so here's my pocket. We're going to pull it all out a little bit at a time. There's that huge red we found not too long ago. This gets LC's approval. Um, okay, so here's one of the really cool stoppers we found not too long ago either. And uh, the piece of a bird with the wing. All right. Uh, here's the other stopper we found. Not as well worn and frosty, but not bad. And here's Mr. Horse. Cool. All right. And we got that piece of the flower frog that we found. Really cool crackled glass. I don't know if I showed that well enough. That is really cool crackled glass. See, it's almost got like a crackled skin to it. Now, usually that happens when the glass has a little different kind of recipe than most glass to it. Maybe they added an extra lead to it or something like that. But really neat. Uh, definitely a rare thing to find the flower glass. Flower glass. Um, sweet. An accordion we found. Never found one of those before. That's super sweet. It's got the hands on each side and an accordion in the middle. We'll put that with Mr. Horse. You can hang. Uh, flower frog, that's the word I was trying to say. Alright. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, UVs and stuff. Let me real quick just grab my other phone out so I don't mess up the Wi Fi signal. It should be under here. I'm doing everything on top of it. There we go. Alright, so as long as this phone stays out here, we should be okay. Because that's where our Wi-Fi signal is coming from. All right, cool. Uh, I'll pull out the biggest piece of my pocket. That one there, that's the gray we found. I think it was the first or second piece we picked up today. I mean, look at that. That's half the size of LC. Sweet, huh? Really, really thick, too. I mean, look at it compared to my finger. It's about a half inch thick. Rad. All right, what else we got? Big pocket. Okay, cool. So, um, some more Coca Cola pieces. A really nice marble. That's the red, white, and blue one we found. Cat's eye. And a uh, big cornflower there. And as well as some heart shapes. And uh, this red one there. Beautiful red. Somehow a piece of coral got in my pocket. What else we got here? I was telling people yesterday the best place in the world to find sea glasses. Somewhere I emptied out my pockets to check them. I drop all kinds of good stuff. Wow, look at that one. I think this was the first red we found today. It's got a little chip on the side, but it's so thick. That is spectacular. That is a really, really nice red to find. Put the sun behind it for you guys so you can see it better. Really cool rib structure to it. So we did pretty well on the reds today. What you say, Elsie? Oh, and there's that marble we found. And now on second look, it is frostier than I thought it was, so we will keep that one. It doesn't have its glaze anymore. It's just kind of a shiny marble when it's wet. So, all right, more stuff from the pocket. 
There you go, some blues, some more bonfire glass, some really good pattern turquoise there, and uh, like a, a big teal heart. All right, and then towards the bottom of my pocket, we got some coins there, some whites. I think some things might have fallen out. I remember finding more. Uh, oops. So there's a little blue flash glass piece there. Honey amber and sea foams. Uh, what else fell out of my pocket? A little pink one. Cool, so a pretty good spread. I think I said one, two. Didn't we find three marbles? I thought we found three marbles. Well, I might have lost one. Who knows? That was a little blue piece, wasn't it? Huh. Well, I'll have to look around for it. Like I said, best place in the world to find sea glass. Somewhere I sat down to check my pockets. But, uh, well, thank you guys so much for sticking around with LC and I today. That was uh, pretty fun. We found a lot of good stuff. And uh, I'm just going to go through the comments real quick, answer some of y'all. And uh, thank y'all again. Cool. Hello, Linda, Catherine, Emily, Sue, Georgiana, and Lisa. Hey, Bree. Rodrigo, what's up, man? That's my neighbor. He's watching. That's cool. Hey, Rodrigo. He's from uh, Venezuela, I think. Hey, Emily, and Tiffany, and Tammy, what's up? Cool, all right. What kind of trees are those? Uh, a lot of the trees we're walking under are manzanilla trees. They're actually a poisonous type of tree. They drop little green apples. If you stand under them while it rains, it'll melt your skin off. So you don't want to be under them while it's raining. They have a lot of acid in the leaves. If you eat the apples, you'll die too. What's the most incredible thing I've ever found beachcombing? Oh man. That's a tough one. I don't know, I found a piece of ambergris once. That was pretty cool. Watch out for spiders. Yeah, we actually, if you guys check out Beachcombing Magazine, big shout out to uh, Kirsty Scott who puts that together. They did an article on us a couple months ago. Really cool pictures, worth checking out. Uh, big shout out to Kirsty. Hey, Cinder. Hey, Mary and Amanda. Right on. So, yeah, just going through real quick and answering all y'all. Hopefully we didn't lose that marble, but I think I think we did lose one there. And then, didn't we have another stop or two? There might be a hole in my pocket, y'all. <laughs> Oops. All right, on. Okay, some of you guys checked out my uh, commencement speech. They asked me for, I don't know why, they asked me to give the college commencement speech when I graduated from the University of Hilo at Hawaii. So I just posted that the other day on LC's glass page. Feel free to check that out. Um, thank you everybody who shared today and uh, everybody who watched. If you haven't already, please follow LC's class. And, uh, make sure to have all your friends follow it too. And uh, stick with us. We're going to post live videos as we go around the entire world. So we can see all kinds of different countries and people and adventures. And we'll uh, teach you all kinds of stuff about sea glass maybe you don't even know. So, wow, this might have been the most people we've ever had watch. So I'm really stoked. I'll do more uh, morning pass for everybody. More uh, morning posts uh hey Allie and jill good to see you all on here as well and denise cool cool hey donna kirsten how does seawater affect lc's skin oh it doesn't at all it keeps the fleas off uh she's never an itchy dog she's kind of got seal skin as you can see and uh lc's been in the water her entire life like i said she most of her life she lived on hawaii so she she's pretty good with it so right on, thank you guys a lot. Uh, hope to see you around here. Someone asked, how do I support myself? This is how I do it. I do these live posts. I sell the glass online on Facebook, at LC's Glass, and uh, with that money we fund ourselves. Oh my gosh. Look, I just found this piece next to my bag. Sweet. Yeah, so this is how we support ourselves. Uh, you guys are the folks who support us, so we really appreciate you a lot. Uh, again, going around the entire world sailing. Uh, on our boat with my dog. It's going to be a great time. Hope you all can join us. So uh, until next time, 
Thank you guys very, very, very much. And we hope to see you again. Uh, I don't know, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, we'll do another live post. So thank you. Uh, take care and hope to see you again.